The Nine Rods A rod Considered when the vessel behaves like continuous magnetized piece of steel under the compass in fore and aft line. Negative if continuous. D rod Considered to exist when the vessel is unsymmetrical about the fore and aft plane of the compass. It is induced with the vessel heading on northerly southerly courses. G-Rod Considered to exist if the compass is not amidships in the fore and aft line. Is induced with the vessel heading on northerly or southerly courses. Negative if abaft and below the compass. B-Rod Considered to exist when the vessel is unsymmetrical about the fore and aft plane of the compass. Is induced with the vessel heading on easterly westerly courses. E-Rod Considered when the vessel behaves like continuous magnetized piece of steel under the compass in the athwart ship's line. Negative if continuous. H-Rod Considered to exist when the vessel, if the compass is not amidship, is in the athwart ship's line, is induced by the Earth's vertical field, with the vessel heading on easterly-westerly courses. Sea rod Considered to exist in the vertical plane below or above the compass, induced by the Earth's vertical field, as the compass position is not amidships in the F and A line, negative if abaft the compass. F-Rod Considered to exist in the vertical plane, below or above the compass, if the compass is not situated amidships in the transverse direction, induced by the Earth's vertical field. K-Rod Considered to exist below the compass of a vessel, induced by the Earth's vertical field. Negative if continuous. Modern vessels have A, C, E, G and K rods normally present.